Hello, welcome to Four Minutes Closer to God. My name is Doug. I uh, wanted to continue in discussion of Calvinism and Arminianism. And so it stated before that Calvin was a, a systematizer. He organized Bible thought and then had it, uh, come to conclusions that uh, this fellow named Jacob Arminius did not like. Uh, with specific respect to uh, predestination. And so uh, Arminius wrote works in his understanding of Bible interpretation. And so this would have happened up until the time of uh, Arminius' death in 1609. And the following year, followers of his in 1610 wrote down these remonstrances. And so a remonstrance is saying, okay, we don't, like what this is saying, so let's put up our own positive affirmation. So previously we talked about conditional election, and this is the idea that election is conditional upon faith in Christ, and God elects to salvation those whom he foreknows beforehand and will that will have faith in him. Article 2, Unlimited Atonement. Christ died for all, and salvation is limited to those who believe in Christ. With respect to total depravity, humans are unable to do the will of God and cannot save themselves apart from the grace of God. Article 4 is prevenient grace. This contends that humans have free will to resist the prevenient grace of God. Prevenient, then, is a term that means the grace that goes before, the grace that uh, blocks, as in preventing. Uh, if you prevent something, you go before to stop it. Uh, prevenient grace, in this sense, goes before to enable something to happen. Um, in Article 5, conditional preservation of the saints, they state that they were not sure of the point but the remonstrants became fully persuaded in their minds that scriptures taught that a true believer was capable of falling away from faith and perishing eternally as an unbeliever. So the remonstrants wrote these things down, and then eight to ten years later, uh, we have the Synod of Dort, and in this we get Calvinist uh, thinkers who gathered together in a council and came up with the uh, thing we now know as TULIP. And so TULIP is an acronym for the total depravity of man, unconditional election, limited atonement, irresistible grace, and perseverance of the saints. And so these two factions then uh, kind of ostracized or uh, exiled the other one in their different uh, areas of power and authority. And so we had uh, these two different denominational trends coming out of Protestantism, these movements, uh, Calvinism and Arminianism. And you'll get a lot of people today who will wrangle over the thoughts that Calvinists have versus Arminians and whether Calvinists are too Augustinian, we'll get more into that later, and whether uh, the Arminians are too Pelagian. 